The fourth pillar of nutrition speaks to awareness. Awareness is defined as the knowledge or perception of a situation or fact. In understanding awareness, we must be self-aware. We must be mentally strong. We must be aware of mindful and mindless eating habits and ingredients. We must know the quality of food in which we are consuming. We must have a better understanding of protein pairing when it comes to protein and carb pairing to maximize protein outcome. And even portion sizes. All these things we would have discussed in some aspect or some pillar in the lead up to this fourth pillar of nutrition. But I think the most, under, the most important thing to understand when it comes to awareness and nutrition is one's body type. Because we're not going to succeed if we don't understand the way in which we should eat based on our body types. So for those of you who may not know, there are typically three general body types that any one of us can fall into. There are the ectomorphs, the mesomorphs, and the endomorphs. An ectomorph is an individual is, that is usually thin, a narrow, has a narrow waist, narrow features, um, long digits like fingers and toes, arms and limbs. So these are slender individuals in society. Our endomorphs are, are heavier set individuals in society. So the rounded individuals with a distended stomach, hips or larger thighs, large arms. Uh, and, they, and these are the individuals that tend to have higher risk factors for disease. And then there's the mesomorph body type. The mesomorph body type are, are athletic-like individuals. Those who are fit, uh, maybe naturally athletic looking or working towards an athletic practice or behavior and so the benefits of the body has been um, identified. These three body types are important in understanding when making proper food choices. A lot of us again uh, mo most of the Caribbean society fall within the endomorph body type that's a larger rounded ind individuals who are at risk of disease and the the best health outcome would be for those who are the mesomorphs uh, athletic individuals if you are endomorph wanting to become more mesomorph body type then you have to eat in a particular way and live a certain lifestyle that encourages a change in this body type uh, endomorphs need to eat more balanced meals they need to be eating half the plate, fruits and veg, lean proteins, high fiber carbohydrates, and they also need to ensure that they're not missing a meal, that they're having a balanced meal at breakfast, a balanced meal at lunch, and a balanced meal at dinner. Uh, an endomorph must also be aware of sugar beverages and its contributions of calories to weight gain and weight management, and eliminate all form of sugar beverages, replacing sugar beverages solely with water. Our larger individuals must also be aware of the amount of water that needs to be consumed. So our endomorphs need to be ensuring that they get greater than 10 8 ounces of water per day. I know the normal recommendation is 8, but the larger the individual, the higher the requirement for water will be. It is also important to understand that every hour on the hour of 24 hours, we should try to have a glass of water. So if we are going to sleep for 8 hours of the day, that allows for up to 16 hours, which we're consuming water, and that means 16, 8 ounces of water each day. If you're an ectomorph wanting to become a mesomorph, again, the mesomorph is the optimal body type in which disease and chronic disease is less likely to occur. Our ectomorphs need to have six meals per day, three balanced meals at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, ensuring fruits and veg are half the plate, but also snacking in between with a rigorous fitness regimen to ensure successful transition from either an ectomorph body type or an endomorph body type moving into the mesomorph body type. So again, rule of thumb is to be aware of your body type, 
be aware of what body type you fall into and also the body type you want to achieve. We have to eat in a particular manner to also see these types of successes.